Welcome and thanks for joining us. I'm here today with attorney Mark Davis from the law firm Davis and Crump. And we're talking today about drugs that are advertised a lot on television and you've probably heard of them. Mark, what are these drugs? Uh, thanks, Bill. Uh, these drugs are Nexium and Prilosec. And as you've uh, already indicated, these are some of the more widely advertised drugs and also some of the biggest selling drugs in the world. Uh, we're talking about drugs here, Bill, that are, aren't taken by thousands or even millions of people, but are taking, uh, taken daily by tens of millions of people uh, across the United States. Uh, they're in a, a class of drugs called proton pump inhibitors, and it includes quite a number of drugs uh, in this class, but the two biggest sellers are Nexium and Prilosec. So just what are these drugs prescribed for? Well, that gets to one of the problems with these drugs is they are approved by the FDA for reflux. Uh, uh, but they are taken uh, and prescribed for just simple, ordinary heartburn. Reflux is something that you, uh, uh, where acid refluxes uh, back up into the esophagus, uh, generally happens at night. Whereas heartburn, if you're taking these for uh, heartburn, you may be taking them several times a day. So we're here talking about them today because obviously they're causing some harm. What kind of harm are they causing? Well, the harm relates to the kidneys, uh, and there's actually three, three types of uh, injuries caused by these drugs, all of which relate to the kidney. Uh, one is a kidney failure, which is just when your kidneys shut down and, and stop uh, working. That's a, a, a sudden problem. Uh, then there's chronic kidney disease, which is just kidney disease or injury that occurs over a period of time. Uh, and then there's acute interstitial nephritis. Now, what that is, it's just a big word that basically means an inflammation of the kidney. Nephritis, itis just means inflammation and nephro means kidney. Uh, so that's uh, uh, one of the uh, first problems that a lot of people see with, this, uh, with these drugs. So just how do these drugs cause kidney damage? Well, there are two theories uh, that are being uh, put out by all the scientists and doctors that are looking at this problem. One relates to the nephritis. Uh, some people may be having some inflammation of their kidney uh, and may not even know that, and they're having these repeat bouts of inflammation of the kidneys, and ultimately that leads to either the kidney failure uh, or the chronic kidney disease. And the other relates to these drugs lowering the levels of magnesium in the blood, which that also uh, is a cause of uh, kidney injury. Uh, so uh, most of the scientists and doctors that have been looking at this, they're looking at either one or both of those as the mechanism of injury. So Mark, with so many people taking these drugs, what are the risks of kidney injury or kidney failure? Uh, good question, Bill. Uh, there's two studies that are, are most quoted by everyone. Uh, one is a 2005 study that relates to uh, a study done of over 300,000 people, so it's a significantly uh, good-sized uh, study. Uh, and it showed a three-fold increase in acute uh, kidney failure of those people taking uh, these proton pump inhibitors as opposed to those that did not. Uh, another study, uh, a very interesting study, uh, showed that uh, people that took the proton pump inhibitor twice daily, which a lot of people will be taking these drugs twice daily, once in the morning and then once at bedtime, uh, those people experienced a 45% increase. And then for those people that only took it once a day, there was a 15% increase. So this is sort of a study, and then of course if they didn't take it at all, they were at baseline. So this study even lended, lent greater support uh, to showing that these drugs not only show an increase, but they're also dose dependent, meaning the more uh, of the drug that you take, the more likely it is that you'll have one of these kidney injuries. Yeah, well, have the manufacturers put out any kind of warning about these drugs? Well, not really, Bill. They, the one, in 2011, um, a uh, group called Public Citizen, they're, they're sort of a watchdog group up in Washington, D.C., uh, petitioned uh, the FDA asking them to require uh, a black box warning about the kidney injuries 
uh, on these drugs. Well, of course, the manufacturers resisted that, that and, and to date that hasn't happened. Uh, so there's very little, if any, warning right now for the kidney injuries associated with these drugs. Mm -hmm. So what should someone do if they have kidney damage and they've taken these drugs? Well, uh, what I would suggest, uh, other than talking to their doctor about their problems, is give us a call, uh, let us look into their uh, medical situation, see if their problems are uh, potentially related to these drugs, uh, and if so, we can help them with the claim in that regard. All right. The drugs are Nexium and Prilosec, and that's attorney Mark Davis with the law firm Davis & Crump. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.